Okay, for all you uh, paint users out there, there's a new version coming out and when the Redstone 2 comes out in March. It's been delayed from uh, end of November to March. Uh, but let's go out to the store and take a look at it. So if you have right now, if you're a Windows Insider, you can get this. Uh, otherwise, you have to gonna have to wait. Uh, but let's take a look. So anyways, you go out there and search for paint, and then there it is, paint uh, 3D preview. By the time it launches uh, or the time it was released, it's probably not gonna have the preview. It doesn't have many reviews yet or not, but 19, it's not bad. There's a lot of people that like it, and quite frankly, I like it too. Now, I've already downloaded it. So I'll go ahead and hit launch and let me close down the uh, store here behind that. Now today I'm going to cover the uh, normal features. You can do a lot of stuff with this. There's way too much uh, to cover. Uh, you can create emoticons. And, well, you can do anything in 3D. Uh, by the way, if you have a Surface Pen or any pen-enabled device, you'll be able to use it with this. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the regular features. If you go ahead and look over here, you'll see the palette of different kinds of drawing tools in the regular 2D mode. So there's a marker that we're on right now. So you just simply start drawing. Whatever color you grab, if you go down here and grab a color, uh, just changes that color. This is nothing new. This is the uh, same as the old uh, paint. But then after that, you can just switch uh, tips. You know, you can see a slight difference there, but a different tip. Uh, for whatever you want to do. There's uh, quite a few of them. A broad brush here, okay, a narrow brush. Um, and again, you can change the size and the strength to make different kinds of strokes. So you, uh, your stroke appears differently. Now, a lot of these were available in the old paint, but it, with this new uh, Windows in interface, the app interface, it's much more easy to see uh, that you're what uh, tool you're using and how to adjust the size and the strength and uh, the color and uh, what's called a mat, uh, which we'll get into here in a minute. But if you look here, we just continue to uh, select different tools, a spray kind of can, kind of thing, uh, pencils and fills. If you click on the fill within the area that you're in, you can apply the fill. Uh, so let me undo that. Uh, there's other things like lines. You can sit there and select a line and later on you can edit that but you can draw different uh, solid lines uh, connecting each other and different types of uh, lines now if we return to the top menu up here we're gonna i'm gonna skip past the 3d things just for a second and uh, and the stickers here uh, let me go over here to text for a second and text is an object just like a, a three-dimensional object or anything where you see there's a bounding box so you can just type in text here and once you have that if you highlight the text within the box, you can do all sorts of things. You can change the color uh, and all that, uh, or even the font. So if you just click on that there, now you've changed the color. Uh, and you can move it around uh, as well. So if we go to stickers, now these are pre-made stickers. Now you'll notice that you can just click on it, resize it. You can stamp it on something uh, once you have it selected. Uh, and by the way, you can convert it to 3D uh, as well. Um, but uh, stickers are nice little things. Uh, there's a, a palette of them available, uh, different kinds of things. Uh, so you may want to do those. And they'd be handy. Uh, you can do shapes as well. Uh, here's a rectangle, for example. So with all that in 2D power, let's go ahead and take a look at 3D. Now 3D is the major new feature here in Paint because it's, uh, it didn't exist before. So we're going to go up here and we're going to select the cube and you'll see that it has some 3D models up here. There's a man, a woman, a dog, and a cat, uh, a mouse, and a fish. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select one to start out with. Well, let's go ahead and grab a cat. And as you can see, as I drag, I can make, change it and draw the size. Once there, I can move it around. I can use the tools to rotate it in three dimensions. And this way is the uh, vertical. That way is a horizontal rotation. And then you have one um, here at the, uh, oh, that's a, the top again. But uh, you can take a look at it in three dimensions. And at the bottom, there's a uh, rotator on the axis, forward axis. So you can see it's a complete 3D model made for you. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and uh, bring in another one. Here's a, a guy. Same thing occurs. You can just sit there and use your tools 
to uh, move stuff around, uh, move the object around. By the way, at the bottom, if you notice, you can resize it as well. Once it's selected, it has the bounding box that it is. So, uh, you can do other things too, uh, but let's go ahead and draw a square real quick here. And I'm going to change it a little bit so you can see that it's a three-dimensional square. And rotate it. Okay, and so we have that placed. And lastly, I'm going to go to a free form down here at the bottom. You'll see that I can just draw whatever shape I want, and it automatically creates a 3D shape. Sort of very cool kind of uh, ability to do things like that. So very powerful tools in a little program like this. So uh, we can select one or multiple ones to manipulate at the same time, uh, which is important. Because if you're manipulating your entire scene and you need to scale them all identical, you don't have to do it uh, one at a time. You can do them all together. So, uh, with that, uh, let's go on and see what you can do with them besides that. If you notice here, I've gone back to the, the drawing menu, the 2D paint menu, and we're going to go ahead and apply a color to one of these objects. So you can paint your particular uh, 3D object with a, uh, with, a cover, with a color. If you notice here, as I draw it, it doesn't go off into the white background. It simply applies it to that 3D model that you have selected at the time. Another thing you want to notice is that it only applies to the surface that you're looking at. It doesn't, it's not like uh, that area is painted all the way. You have to actually paint the front and rear. For example, if I go back to the 3D menu and I rotate uh, this guy, if you notice, the back of the leg is not painted. So you have to go ahead and do all that. You're, if you're going to be using the back of the 3D model, you need to paint everywhere that you need to paint. So that's the basics of uh, Paint 3D. Uh, you'll be able to create some really sophisticated stuff or some simple stuff. Uh, create some kind of uh, icons or emojis that you want uh, and save them uh, as a JPEG or a ping file. So uh, there you go, Paint 3D. It's not coming until March, but you can, uh, if you have an insider program, you can play with it until then. So uh, enjoy the new Paint 3D.